Hi, welcome back. I'm Heather. Today I'm going to go over our once a month Costco and Trader Joe's grocery haul. And I like to pre-plan all of our meals for the most part for the entire month. I typically don't do a beginning of the month to end of month. I'll kind of do mid month to the mid of the next month. And this makes it a little bit easier because I'm typically busy at the beginning of the month. So we push it out just a couple weeks. So this grocery haul here is gonna cover us through part of the end of December into January. And we shop at both Costco and Trader Joe's for the majority of our groceries. And then we will go back in a couple weeks to get some fresh produce, milk, and just a couple little odds and ends. But for the most part, this is our groceries for the entire month. Let's get started. All right, we get a lot of our produce from Costco. So let's start us up. We have sweet onions, some five pounds of cuties, uh, the organic blueberries were a pretty good price. So I picked those up. I know the kids will devour them very quickly. Uh, my youngest has been loving kiwis. So I got her this and we have one package of romaine. This is one that we typically will rebuy mid month. I have one package of spinach. And as soon as I open this up, once we're done here, I will stick a paper towel in it to help absorb the moisture and this will stay much longer. All right, we have some baby potatoes that we'll use for roasting for a couple sides this month. Uh, some pears. I have a sweet kale salad kit, organic cauliflower that we like to roast up and use for a side for dinner, cranberries, and I'll just stick these in the freezer for whenever we want to have a cranberry pie or some kind of a cranberry cookie or something, and we're still able to use the fresh cranberries. Moving down, green beans, which my youngest daughter absolutely loves. We have some avocados. I have both baby carrots and also a six pound bag of whole carrots. The whole carrots I'll use for sides and also for a carrot raisin salad that my kids like. The baby carrots will be used just for snacking and lunch sides. We have one pineapple here and I like to get the pineapples because they will last uh, into about the second week of the groceries. That way we can get through some of the stuff that will go bad quicker, such as the berries and things. We have a container half and half. And then because it is the holidays, I got a container eggnog for the kiddos. And let's see, we have one package of bacon because we're just about through the bacon of our pig that we had purchased. And this one is my husband's favorite, Haagen-Dazs peppermint cookie bars. So that's his little indulgent splurge for the holidays. And then also the coconut bites, which are super yummy. Okay, moving down, we have two packages of 24 count eggs. And Oh, I missed our tomatoes and our produce. One container of butter, and we're gonna use a bunch of that for our cookies that we'll be making for our friends and family. Uh, we have a honey roasted salmon that the kids all love. Uh, we have some roast beef. That'll do a quick French dip on a night for dinner. And then some nitrate nitrite free ham that we'll use for in breakfast or in uh, lunch for sandwiches and little snacks. Next up in our frozen stuff, we have some coconut shrimp. Every year on Christmas Eve Eve, we do an appetizer dinner where we just do a bunch of different appetizers that everybody loves. And one of the requests was coconut shrimp and they happen to be on sale. So we got that. Uh, I have a five pound bag of frozen corn. And I think that 
does all of our cold stuff. We have uh, two baguettes that we'll use for sides and for dips. I have a roasted turkey, rotisserie chicken, excuse me, rotisserie chicken that I uh, will pull apart and then use for enchiladas. And then some rolls to go along with those sandwiches for the French dips. And also we have a barbecue chicken sandwich this month. We have chia seeds because we are just about out of those. Some maple syrup, the better than bouillon beef base, again for those French dips. And then sugar for our cookie baking, organic coffee beans. Next up, we have some shredded cheddar jack cheese. And then lastly from Costco, we have the kettle Himalayan salt chips and tortilla chips. All right, so that kind of finishes up Costco and that was right at about $360. Then we have Trader Joe's over here. So we will just kind of start with this cold stuff. The raspberry and cream, little yogurts. The kids and my husband love these. So we got a couple of those. That'll again be a rebuy come middle of our month. We have some sweet Italian sausage, mandarin orange chicken, some chicken fried rice, uh, sweet potato fries to go along with one of the sandwich dinners. I'll be doing quiche for Christmas. So we have some frozen chopped spinach and then also a spinach dip. So I have two of those. Next up, we have some salami sticks. The kids love these and we'll have them for a little lunch to go along with some cheese and fruits and veggies. We have a sliced sourdough ro loaf here some creme fraiche, our favorite French vanilla ice cream from them, some mini chicken tacos. This will go along with that appetizer dinner I talked about and some soft pretzels again to go with that appetizer dinner. And the back here we have my son's favorite everything crackers and then some just round crackers to go along with that spinach dip. Next up, we have two boxes of the creamy tomato soup. All the kids love that and it's a quick and easy lunch. I have some black beans to go in those enchiladas along with green chilies. And then we have the Trader Joe's spice cider and one gallon whole milk, a quart of buttermilk, uh, my son's very favorite salsa verde here and we'll use that in breakfast or in the enchiladas. I like to use it as an enchilada sauce. We have two containers of the buttermilk biscuits for a quick breakfast or side to go along with dinner. We needed some more green dragon. So we picked that up. Some sweet chili sauce, another can of the coconut oil spray. I have two mustards. I was out of my pantry one and we ran out in the fridge. So I picked up one for the pantry and one for the fridge. Our favorite organic reduced sugar raspberry preserves. Some red chili pepper flakes, a can of tomato paste and a bag of pasta here to go along for another dinner. We had a frozen pie crust that's to go with the quiche that I'll be making. And then up front here, we have some sweet little peppers, cilantro and parsley, some organic celery, shredded carrots to go in salads to make salads a little bit quicker and easier. Also to go in a coleslaw. And then I have three of these, two of these I'll use for coleslaw to go along with the barbecue chicken sandwiches. And then the other one, I like to just throw in our nightly salad to kind of give it some extra variety toward the romaine. We have one bunch of bananas. I have three of the coconut strips. Our kids love them and will eat an entire bag in a sitting if I let them. And then we have three bags of the organic pink lady apples 
Those are our favorites that are the Honeycrisp apples. So we had pink ladies this time. And then I have one big butternut squash that will roast up for his sides. And then just some plain russet potatoes. I think that finishes out. So the Trader Joe's total was right about $150. And like I said, we will come back to the stores in about two weeks to fill in with our another gallon of milk, some more eggs, possibly a bread or two if we need that, and then some more produce on the things that don't hold well for that entire month or that we eat through and I just can't store enough of. All right, so this is kind of what it looks like for our once a month grocery haul. I hope that you found this helpful. If you look back, we will link uh, the meal planning and how I do that for meal planning all of this and trying to make some sense out of budgeting and getting through all of the food that we would need in that month. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.